Oh, hello, I was just having a sandwich. Uh, it's me, A.F. Harold, author of books and writer of poems and wearer of beard. Uh, speaking to you on behalf of my friends ABC to Read, uh, a brilliant uh, charity who send volunteers out into schools to, uh, to read books with kids. I'm here today because around about this time, it's National Poetry Day. It happens every year at the start of October. Um, and on National Poetry Day, we encourage one another to share poems. Um, poems are small little things. You can often, you can often memorise a little one and carry it around in your head and share it with people at unexpected moments. What I'm going to do, I'm going to share with you a few poems from this, this book of mine, uh, which is called The Book of Not Entirely Useful Advice. Uh, poems by me, A.F. Harold. Pictures by my friend Minnie Gray here. And I'm going to read three poems from the book for you. And uh, and then I'll say goodbye at the end. And that will be basically, basically, that will be exactly what happens in uh, this poem. OK, so here is your first poem from the book. This poem is called Duck Soup. There's a duck in my soup and it's swimming round and round. The soup bowl is small but the duck doesn't mind. It's warmer than the river where the water's rather cold. I've asked the duck to leave but this duck just won't be told. So I dress up like a swan and I climb in too and I hiss and I flap like angry swans do. And the duck flies off in a quacking little huff. And I paddle, drink, paddle. And I sip the soupy stuff, which tastes like the underside of a swimming duck, which is weedy and muddy and really quite horrid. So I call the waiter over and ask for a new bowl of soup and he asks me why I'm dressed up like a swan. And I don't really have a very good answer for that so I'm asked to leave the restaurant and never come back. Um, so, so there, good bit of advice if ever you find a duck in your soup. Um, maybe don't deal with it like that if you, if you like the restaurant and want to go back there. Okay. This poem is on page 18 of the book. If you're following along in the text, uh, check in to see if I make any mistakes in my reading out. Uh, this poem is called Blackbirds and Bananas. It goes like this. A banana is yellow with little bits of black. A blackbird is black with little bits of yellow. A banana grows up in a tree. A blackbird grows up in a tree. A banana is about the size of a blackbird. A blackbird is about the size of a banana. A banana is a surprising but not unheard of pie filling. A blackbird is a surprising but not unheard of pie filling. A banana, a blackbird. A blackbird, a banana. Listen, my lunchbox is singing. And one last poem, one last poem from the book for you. Uh, this poem is, what is this poem? Let's have a rummage and find, find a good poem. This poem is about uh, getting a pet, about choosing a pet, how you might go about choosing, what sort of pet to have. And this poem is called Smaller Ones Are Better. It goes like this. Never get a pet bigger than yourself. Oversized animals are bad for your health. Take a snake that could swallow you whole. A great white shark won't fit a fish bowl. You might try to keep a polar bear in the freezer, but don't tell your mum because the news wouldn't please her. A bottlenose dolphin hogs the bath. A big butch hyena is good for a laugh. But when it gets peckish, starts looking for lunch, the last thing you'll hear is a mighty meaty munch. 
and it's the same with a tiger, the same with a lion. Don't get a walrus and don't think of trying to befriend a blue whale. They're bigger than buses. And when the food bill arrives, then you'll see what a fuss is. Don't get a pet bigger than a person. Smaller ones are better. You bet you start cursing if you had to clear up all the mess that you find fallen to the floor from an elephant's behind. A rhinoceros might be a tough old trooper, but it tends to overwork the tired pooper scooper. So stick with a stick insect. Stick with a cat. Befriend a little rabbit or a mouse or a rat or a sensible dog, or a gerbil, or a parrot, or smallest and safest, a crunchy, tender carrot. And here is Minnie's picture of our pet carrot. Its name is Rover. Thank you for listening to those three poems to help you celebrate National Poetry Day 2020. Uh, I've been A.F. Harold, author of books, writer of poems, wearer of beards, here with and on behalf of my friends at ABC to read, all Berkshire children to read, a fantastic charity sending volunteers out into schools to uh, read along with kids. If you want to know more about their work, check out abctoread.org.uk where you can find out all the great things they do. And have a lovely National Poetry Day and we'll see you in due course somewhere further down the line. In the meantime, wash your hands and whisper your poems through masks into the ears of your loved ones. Or pets. <laughs>